So, how are you? Good. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I'm good too. We don't have to speak just because we're in the same room. It just feels awkward. It'll be less awkward if you just stop. Okay, sure. Uh, breakfast this morning was tasty. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't think we eat French toast enough. Literally just stop. I don't know how. Well, it's getting on my nerves. Then go to your room or something. How dare you send me to my room when I'm not the one being annoying. Besides, I am waiting for someone. Why? Dramatic effect. As soon as they walk in, I'm going to verbally pounce on them. Hey, guys. Oh, Ken, you're in for it. It's not Dad. Yes, it is. Chelsea, did you hit your head? It's me, Daddy. But we call 911. Chelsea's got amnesia. No, Dad, I'm fine. You're both ruining this. Is that why Ken's in trouble? I'm in trouble? No, you're... You're not in trouble now, f off! For not being in trouble, it sure feels like I'm in trouble. So. Please don't start that again. Oh, it's Death Stacy! Um, yeah, hey. No, it's not Stacy. I don't know what's going on, but I don't care. That was a very skipper attitude for Stacy. Maybe it wasn't Stacy at all. Can you stop it with the commentary? Skipper Roberts, you little bitch! Yes! Finally, it's about to go down! Woo woo! For me, legit, shut the up. Okay, no, I just had the worst day, so can you both not be so annoying as soon as I walk in? You think I'm being annoying? I'm gonna tell you what is even more annoying, Skipper, when you go out to the grand opening of the new Petite Cake Bakery and score some sweet eats to chow down on later while you sit down to watch the tragedy that is The Bachelorette reruns, and you're old enough to fucking know better big sister takes your shit for her Self. They weren't labeled. Sorry, I'll get you some more. How, Skipper? How? They were the special edition grand opening mini cupcakes. You gonna invent a time machine and go back in time to get them? Okay, yes, I get why Skipper constantly does this. Sweet Lord Mattel, it doesn't matter. They're just cupcakes. Oh no, you did not just disrespect the delicious decadence of my cupcakes. If I had hoop earrings on, you best believe they'd be coming off like we about to go down old school. Barbie, can you help? Help what? Keep it up. The live stream's blowing up. You're the worst, Skipper Roberts. I'll get you back for this. You won't know when, you won't know how, but I will get you back for this. <sighs> you won't see it coming. Oh my god. When you least suspect it. One more time. One day, Skipper. One day. Is she coming back? No, it's the rule of threes. Can you not? Not what? Be in here? But you're going to get your comeuppance. So? It's not like she can make my day any worse. You don't know what she's capable of. She is my daughter. Whatever. It's not whatever, Skipper. I mean, if I was you, I would be worried as hell right now. I am worried, but not about Chelsea's stupid cupcake vengeance. That sounds like a title for another terrible Mattel movie. Barbie in a cupcake vengeance. A small town girl who dreams of being a pastry chef enters into a global competition where she ends up cooking for a princess who looks just like her, and they do a life swap. Barbie, I had an awful day, and I don't need to hear about your crap Mattel movie pitch. Huh, what? I was just writing that down. Oh my god. See, you don't care. No, I'm not here to care about things, just to be entertained. See the popcorn? Oh, so you're just here for the drama. Well, Barbie, hate to break it to you, the only dramatic thing here is you. Don't be butthurt that I know how to spice life up for everyone always. Who doesn't like a little drama? I, for one, would like a lot less of it in my life. I mean, today, for example, was just unnecessarily dramatic. Huh? Sorry, what? I got bored. So what do you think Chelsea's gonna do to you? I thought we established you don't care. Of course I care about this drama between you and Chelsea, not you and your problems. I'm here to watch the whole vengeance thing unfold. Fine then. Fine. But also, can you guess what she could be up to? Just text her and ask. I'm sure she'll tell you. I should. I am excellent at keeping secrets. You're actually the worst at keeping secrets. There are so many things that I shouldn't know about. Like the fact that dad had a third nipple removed at your request. That was never a secret. He tells people that openly. He thinks he's an oracle. He cannot guess correctly when a package will arrive when he has the tracking information and he thinks he's an oracle. So if you're not worried about Chelsea's revenge, what are you worried about? You won't pay attention for long enough to listen to me, so I guess it's nothing that needs concern you. No, tell me. Why? I need to know. You're like a four-year-old. You only want to know because I won't tell you. You have to tell me! Oh, my tell. So dramatic. Fine. Ansel and I had a massive fight and we'll probably break up. <gasps> Was it because you won't do butt stuff in the bedroom? Men can be so weird about that. I don't know. That's not... Ansel doesn't... 
What? No! Is it because he cheated on you? Because we could go to the bitch's house right now and defecate on her lawn. I got a poo brewing. No, Barbie, we just had a fight. Was it about the lazy way you dress? Um, I'm peak fashion. Thrifted, unique, expressive, economical, and ecological. That's a lot of words to say basic poor bitch attire. That's not the point. Anyway, Anselm and I were having lunch and the cafeteria was doing tater tots as a side dish. So I didn't want a full serve of them. It's wasteful if I don't plan on eating them all. Oh my god, this story is so boring. Chelsea, come and seek your vengeance now. Now Skipper's boring me. So I ran across to Anselm. Wait, why was your adult boyfriend at your school for lunch? Sometimes he just comes so we can have lunch together. So he's taking advantage of the lunch program that I and all other parents pay for, but he isn't paying for. Just shut up and listen, Barbie. This is boiling my blood, Skipper. You best hope I don't out you at the next PTA meeting. As if you go to those meetings. Yeah, you're right, I do. So Anselm made a quip at me in front of my friends about stealing his taters and we haven't spoken since. Wait, what? It's not a fight. That's not even a story. I'll tell you a story. You're Dad and I no. sometimes go to Banana Republic no, thanks. just to use your dad's banana in their change rooms if you catch my drift. I do. And you missed the point of the story. He body shamed me. Well, he didn't really say much to trigger that. It was what he didn't say that hurt so much. We aren't speaking. Wait, so what he said didn't hurt, but what he didn't say did hurt? I'm confused. You're always confused, Barbie. You are my daughter and no one fat shames you other than me. And I've only ever shamed you for having the silhouette of a boy and your lack of breasts and the way you dress and the disappointment you bring me by not being a lesbian, your taste in music, that you're basic, how you sound when you snore, how you drink tea. Skipper, pay attention. Sorry, what? I was checking Anslem's TikTok again. I was telling you about all the things I shame you for, but how dare Anslem fat shame you? I think we're done. He hasn't messaged me and he just posted about his new shirt as like a thirst trap. So like, I think it was totally him breaking up with me. How dare he do that to you? We should post thirst traps of you. I saw that one of the silhouette thing with that Doja Cat song. Let's do that. Barbie, you've already done that like eight times. It's also such a last month trend. So, okay fine we post a different thirst trap we're not posting a thirst trap yes give it to me thirst trap more butt that's all i got make it more butt i can't you know this why are we even doing this because this is how your generation gets revenge back in my day to get a guy back you'd have to fake a pregnancy or something oh god i just did a back in my day analogy this isn't who i am i need to go do something young i better go post a mental health tiktok video with absolutely no professional experience aren't you a psychologist in name, but I never actually graduated. There were essays and lectures and tutorials. I just went to the keggers. Can I put my clothes back on now? Holy sh that caption is perfect. The point of thirst traps was to get people to simp over you. And like, I think that doing a thirst trap to get attention is simping itself. Should I have understood anything you said? Why are we doing this by the pool? Makes the photos seem more legitimate and less staged. But they are staged. Like I don't ever stand like this or post photos like this. I wear baggy clothes on top of my swimmer all the time. I can't believe we are related. I get naked for no reason and post about it daily. I know I would block you, but you do it in real life in front of me constantly. I wonder if Chelsea Chelsea's revenge is taking place now. While we're here, she could be in your room planning dog in your bed or something. We don't even have a dog. Where would she get dog I get mine delivered. I have a dog guy. You should get one. Anyway, are you worried about Chelsea doing something to your stuff? She can't do anything anyways. I locked my room. You don't think that kid can pick a lock? Oh, sh We should go check. See? No dog shit. It could be something else, like she may have planted a fresh sandwich somewhere only for it to turn moldy and gross, attracting ants and roaches. That is a strange type of revenge. I know without Tinka or our cleaning staff, I would definitely do this to myself by accident. Drunk Barbie is a bitch to sober Barbie. I don't think I've ever met sober Barbie. I was sober Barbie when I was pregnant with you bitches. That's not sober Barbie, that's pregnant Barbie. She's a different kind of beast. You're a different kind of beast. Look at this room. I hope Anselm's trailer is nicer than this room because the poor boy needs a break from this kind of trash. Why do you assume he lives in a trailer. Also, he may be getting a permanent break from this room if he doesn't message me soon. Stop checking your phone. You reek of desperation being online all the time. Well, he's been online and has seen my photos and hasn't even commented on anything. But did any other hottie slide into your DM? Just my ex, Kevin. No thanks. You had other boyfriends? Remember when I was a blonde? Oh yeah, they do have more fun. Oh, why the f won't Anselm just text me? I hate this not knowing if it's over or not. I know I hate myself for even thinking this, but are you PMSing? No, Barbie. Oh my god, are you pregnant, you fucking bitch? No, Barbie, this has nothing to do with hormones. Hey, how do you make a hormone? <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Did he call you crazy? No, but obviously he makes me feel crazy doing these things. Like, stop treating women that way and we won't become crazy. Facts. So I know this is about you, but these pictures I took for you got me thinking. 
Yes, get my butt in it. I'm gonna throw my back out for the gram. The pictures look fine, but I don't see how this benefits me. It's distracting you from your issues. You've already forgotten about Anderson. His name is Anslem. Don't act like you don't know his name. He's not Chelsea. Fine, but also speaking of that bitch, we really gotta be on guard for what she got planned for you. Probably something petty like spitting in my Cheerios. It's not really my fault this happened. The dumb should label her cupcakes. You know that's not the lesson she took from this. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Go to bed? Are you crazy? She might decide to wax your eyebrows too thin while you sleep. I think I'll take that chance. Well, I think you need to look at I really don't. Psst. Skip. Skip her! What now? Just giving you the half hour report. No suspicious activity thus far. I have told you the last six half hours I don't need half hour reports. I don't need any reports. I need you to go back to your own room and go to sleep. I'm not missing this shit. Just pretend I'm not here. Fine. What was that? My phone. Oh, who is it? Is it Chelsea? Because waking you up in the middle of the night with a text is really good petty revenge. No, Barbie, it's not Chelsea. It's Anselm. So are you guys over? Because I know a really nice girl I think you would hit it off with. I am still not a lesbian. You're not even giving it a good try. Anselm and I are fine. He tagged me in a meme. Is that the new apology? Tagging you in a meme? That or sending you a TikTok video. In my day, when you made up, it always involved angry sex. I feel like youth now just aren't even trying. Oh, sh I did the in my day thing again. Barbie, please, I need sleep. Fine, I'll just sit here and I promise I won't wake you up for any more reports. Okay. <laughs> oh, Fonzie, you're timeless. <laughs> there aren't enough jukeboxes anymore. Good morning, Skipper. You look like you slept well. I obviously look like I've been fighting a rat all night because Barbie decided to have a slumber party with me because she's waiting on the entertainment that is watching you get revenge on me. So can you just get to it already? It's already done. You're joking. You did nothing. Yes, I did do nothing. Legit, what did you do? Oh, ho, ho, Skipper. You think this is my first trip to the rodeo, bitch? I actually did nothing but threaten you with revenge. And doing so in front of Barbie wet her entertainment appetite enough for her to shadow you and annoy the sh** out of you so I got my revenge without having to lift a finger. Holy sh**. I'm so mad, but I also respect the hell out of you in this moment. Well played. Never touch my cupcakes again. Lesson learned. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media, links below. Also, check out our merchandise, link below. Love, Sam. And Mickey.